funeral arrangements aren't being announced just yet. Yes, Mr. Hammond will make an announcement uh, when it's appropriate. Thank you, sir. Oh, excuse just me. Just leave them right there. That's fine. Oh, do I have to sign? Wagner residence, hold a moment, please. Uh, I was looking for the housekeeper. Oh, I'm afraid she's busy with Mr. Hanlon. She just got here herself, and she's quite upset, so I don't think... Well, I'm a Walter Connell. I was Eric Wagner's lawyer. I was his father's attorney and best friend for about 40 years. Oh, please, sir, I am sorry. You see, I'm new in the office, and, well, I replaced Miss Babcock, and she was only there for a couple of days, so I, I really haven't gotten everybody's name straight. Yet. Oh, no, no, that's nothing to worry about. That's all right. Oh, that's fine, right over there. But, uh, whose office? Pardon? Well, the, the, the office that you were new in. Who, whose office is Oh, that? Mr. Hanlon's. Mr. Hanlon's, oh. You can go now, thank you. Oh, no, I just helped him carry it in, ma'am. I'm from the police, Lieutenant Glover. Oh, uh, Wagner residence, hold, please. Well, Mr. Hanlon said he just wouldn't be able to see you for a while, sir, so... No problem. I don't mind waiting. Lieutenant, uh... What are you doing here? Well, actually, sir, we've had a little trouble locating Mrs. Wagner. We've checked all the hotels in Acapulco. That's so far. Of course, Shirley is a bit of a whirling dervish on every committee there is. Very social. Oh, sir. Yes? You don't mind if I ask you a personal question, do you? No. What'd you pay for those shoes? I think about $60. I stepped into some water yesterday. I ruined mine. You don't know where I could get a pair that looks like that for around 16 or 17. 16 or 17. Sorry, I, I, I don't really have time. Walter, I didn't know you were here. You should have come on into the study. Oh, I didn't want to disturb you, Paul. I thought you might be fancy negotiating something. Uh, this doesn't seem to be the time or the place to hear bad grievances between you and me, Walter. Why didn't you call me this afternoon? Why did I have to hear about this on the news? I really wasn't sure you were back from Washington, Nick. Wagner residence. What? Oh, it's you again, Miss Rikoji. Well, wait a minute. Walter, you shouldn't get yourself into an uproar. No, that's bad for your ulcer. Where's Shirley? She's on her way. I haven't spoken to her. Uh, look, I know this must be very unpleasant for you, so... Uh, uh, sir, it's a Miss Rikoji. I can't She's take any calls now, times. honey. She says it's quite I urgent. I told you no calls today. I don't have time, not till tomorrow, got it? Mr. Rikoji, he says he just can't talk to you. Well, you're going to you have to excuse me. That's all there is to it. I mean, there's nothing that's left to be done that needs to be done. Uh, Shirley will be back tomorrow, and that's it. Lieutenant, it's for you. I left the number, excuse me. Lieutenant Colombo. Not a thing, huh? Well, what about the autopsy? I see. Thank you very much. Lieutenant, if you need me, I'll be back in my apartment in about two hours. I've got to finish the funeral. Right? Well, I did want to ask you, sir. You don't mind if I bring another lab crew in here first thing in the morning? Kind of recheck everything? No, whatever you want. So long, Walter. Sure knows how to take charge, doesn't he? Lieutenant, what is all this? Autopsy, lab crews. Well, just part of a routine murder investigation, sir. Excuse me. Just one more thing.